coat of arms. We're here at the 511 store in Las Vegas. We got some exciting things going on. Deborah. Yes. CMO. Yes. 511 Global. What do we got going on? We're at the 511 Las Vegas store. This is an opportunity for our media partners. So we've got a lot of our brand ambassadors here. We have Tim Kennedy. We have Kyle Lamb. We have Doug Marqueda. We have Becky Yackley. We have so many people here that are supportive of the 511 brand. That is, it just, it makes my heart happy. We are excited to launch our new Atlas footwear line. This is the all-terrain load assistant system, Atlas. It carries the load. Okay. You can't take anything else except for us with these footwear. And this is like the best thing that's gonna happen to the, the tactical industry right now. And you got a, a little something for everyone here. So we've got the high, the mid, the low. Yes, we have the eight inch. We have the mid for like general hiking. And then we have your trainer, which feel how light this is, right? That's surprising. It's light, it's slip resistant. When you handed this to me, I was expecting to be a little bit of weight. There's there's nothing to it. Corey, feel this. I mean, can, okay. okay, so you're, 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 you know. I'm a robust man. Yes. And I'm a robust woman, but that's okay because we've got the Atlas boot, this eight inch boot. It is slip resistant. This is like the best thing that's just gonna hit the, the industry right now. I understand that you have a gentleman that was uh, involved specifically in the design of this particular product. Yes, absolutely. Brendan, he was our product design, our product developer. And we also have our product designers that really take what our end users need and they they provide a, a solution for those situations well why don't we bring him in here now we'll talk a little bit about the product that would be great a little bit more detail absolutely how Hi. are you sir how you doing great to see you i need to know a little bit about more about the development of this particular product here and i understand that you're kind of the brainchild behind this here i uh, just uh once they brain town, it's the guy helping out. Okay. <laughs> Humble. It kind of came about as we were talking to law enforcement, especially as uh, we kind of had a table at our development room, guys would come in reactions. They bring their loadout, all the gear they carry. So we're kind of going through all the, as we're looking at all the different products, we always notice as they threw their gear on the table, the table kind of bend to see additional weight. So we, as we started talking to the guys, we kind of have our own terminology. So when we started talking to them, like, hey, what's your normal weight and what's your work weight? And it's funny because when we started talking to officers, like, oh, you know, I'm about 180 pounds. And then they said, hey, look, my, my work weight, they're like, oh, I'm like, actually at work, I'm 210 or 220. So we kind of went with that idea of like, you're going to be that much heavier at work because you're one, you're carrying so much extra gear, duty belt, armor. And so when you look at the design of the shoe and building it, how do we make it more robust and work just a better performing footwear to support all of that extra load you can? My name is Amanda Lynn Mayhew and I am the TV host of the show called Just Hunt out of Canada, hunting and fishing show. And I've been with 511 as a brand ambassador for about six years. Especially when I'm hunting, when I carry my gear, things get really heavy. And so the lighter, the lighter your equipment is, your bags, your jackets, your pants, your boots, it all makes a difference. I think it's our two-part midsole. It's our force foam and echo foam. So it's a, echo foam is a high rebound, high performance PU. And the heel is a high impact PU. So it's a lot more cushioning, a lot just better. People are just feeling better where like, they're, they're not feeling kind of, there's more, there's less fatigue. The feet hurt less at the end of the day. It's like a higher performing product for them, especially for what they do. So our, our guys usually are big, like you said, I heard before you're a robust guy. I guess we're both two robust guys. Um, our guys are shouldering that much more extra load so how do you kind of compensate for that and give them the performance they need at that higher weight is what the really the whole line really works around and i mean you speak to law enforcement and military and whatnot i mean but to the average guy as well i mean maybe i'm not putting on a plate carrier but maybe i'm, I'm packing back a couple extra burgers yep this works for me too right it totally works I, I, like for myself too like i yeah you're not i might not be still team six but guess what like at 200 and i won't say the rest um there's a lot of extra loads so yeah it's built around that more of a robust performance for larger, but for heavier weight. 511 is known for making purpose-built gear made for life's most demanding missions. And, I, and I'm telling you, this is going to be the boot for life's most demanding missions.
right. Shot Show 2020. We're here at the 511 store in Las Vegas. And look who I've run into. It's Doug Marquetta. Doug! Nice name. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> How you doing? How are you doing? Well, I'm here right now for the SHOT Show with 511 because we're going to be presenting the new blade that I'm working with 511, which is called the DM Talon. Now, it's basically a karambit. But the karambit, if you look at the history, it's from Indonesia and Malaysia. They're pretty much curved blades that are actually from the uh, tiger's claw. So a lot of that's curved for capturing stuff. Uh, I'm a Filipino martial artist, I don't do silat, and because of the Filipino martial arts, we're more about fast fluid motions that move around, use both hands and everything else, more like an eagle. So I designed the blade with 5.11 that exemplifies, you get the spirit of the eagle called a talon, the DM talon. Instead of being curved, it's a little bit more like it's protruding there because you can stab more with it, puncture with it. Um, when you're using in this particular grip, you can rake the power for that, but you can also puncture that way. Now, karambits are normally held this way, but if you look at that blade, you can see that we actually skeletonized the handle and put some clear handles. Now, the skeletonized makes it a very light blade. And the reason for that is that I want it to be not an extension, but actually part of my hand. On the fixed blade right here, we're going back to what a karambit was. It's got the ring for retention right there, but at the same time, a more angled blade to where you can puncture with that. Now, the folder version over here is the same idea, but except with the folder, it also has a catch feature like that you can open up with one hand. But what we're doing here at Shachu is showing everybody what we have and we're taking notes of what you love about it and what you don't like about it. But pretty much with the way we came out with it, I'm quite happy with the quality that we came out because the one thing about this is part of my passion project, I want to make this affordable. I don't want to make a very high-end blade. I want to make it affordable so that once they, uh, 5 lens says it's a go, we're going to keep it under $100. To try to find out that we can get this to everybody to have fun with it. To me, it's, it's, it's an accomplishment to work with such fine uh, establishments like this just because of, you know, to be able to say, you know, I, I've done something with 511. And so you don't miss out. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, and subscribe to us on YouTube.com. This is Coat of Arms.